right, thanks for tuning in. Uh, for today's video, uh, it's from a couple of different days. Um, the reason being, I wanted to show you uh, a different way of catching them. Uh, if you've watched my channel for the last few years, you, you know certain times of the year I'll start uh, throwing a uh, just a jig head with a fluke on it. Simple as that. Um, a lot of guys have been leaving comments uh, wanting to know about my, my uh, bucktail jigs and you don't have to have the bucktail to catch them. Uh, I wanted to show that. So uh, the video will start out with a, with a couple of fish I caught, uh, throw them the jig and fluke, and then it switches uh, to another day, uh, actually the next day, where I catch them on my, uh, my bucktail. But anyway, stay tuned. I try to show you uh, why I'm fishing the area I'm fishing. Um, so I show uh, this video is going to show some uh, footage of my fish finder and uh, try to give you an idea of why I decide to fish where I fish. But uh, stay tuned. All right. Welcome back to the channel. It is uh, oh well. It was rainy this morning. We got some clouds. I was hoping it was going to stay overcast. Um, switching it up a little this morning, I got my jig and fluke. The bait should be big enough that this should work good. Probably drifted in just a little too close. I was here yesterday. The previous video will be yesterday, and I caught fish here on this point. Oh, there he is. Darn. Exactly what I was hoping for. <laughs> Just like clockwork. Good fish, too. <laughs> wow. So, that jig and fluke, I'm telling you, you don't need to have my jigs to catch these fish. Just, just a simple jig head with a fluke on it. It's a good one. I mean, not a giant, but it's a, it's a nice fish. Oh, we saw the boat. All right, where's my fish grippers? I don't want to. My hands are so sore from these stripers tearing all the skin off of them. another tub I mean he's I don't know he might be 10 pounds or so but it's a fat fish I got the same setup as I do that I that I use with my hair jig it's a seven foot medium extra fast rod I got a Shimano Vanford reel
Guess what this is. <laughs> when you're fishing for these stripers, you got to have a reel with a good drag. one. I think he's uh, six or seven pounds. All right. Jig head and a fluke. I'm telling you, it's deadly. Why am I using that instead of my hair jig today? just to show you that you don't need the jig. I could be doing the same thing with a, a jig head and a curl tail grub. Hopefully the camera is picking it up. It might be too bright, but there's that, that's stripers already I'm seeing. So that's, I'm, I'm approaching a point, you can see it getting shallower. And that's why I'm fishing this point, because these stripers are, are right here. Several stripers right there. Yes, I like it. More stripers. Got bait up here, got stripers down here. This should be good. All right, the morning has not started out great so far. I hit something floating on the way over here with my boat. It was big too. I have no idea what I hit. Didn't see it. Still don't see it. Hopefully it didn't do any damage. water is really muddy. I don't like it. Don't like it at all. It's one of the advantages of having a, an aluminum boat. It'll take a beating. Oh boy, it's a striper. Stay out of that tree. <laughs> I knew it. That's what I missed. It's not a big one, I don't think, but it's not a small one.
So they don't have to be on the surface to catch them. Just using my little bucktail. They will break you off on your boat if you're not careful. If your line touches your boat, they will break you off. That's what I'm, that's what I'm after right there. Can tell that's what I missed. They just hit it like a freight train, and that's a nice, yeah, four or five pounder. It's chilly this morning. It's gonna it's supposed to be fairly warm today, though. I don't want winter to end because. That'll end the striper fishing. I don't fish for them in the summer because you can't release them alive. They just, they, it just kills them if you catch them in the warm water. In the stripers. Oh, do I love it. This is a better one here, I believe. Again, I'm just using eight pound gamma fluorocarbon. It's the strongest line known to man. I'm gonna, gonna let you go. Get you in the boat here. Yeah, better fish. That's a better fish. You know, he's big enough. I'm gonna use my grippers. Nice chunky, big, big belly. Love it. Alright. Take my coat off and get serious here. Deeper. 
or she, I guess it would be, maybe. Should be more of them. Well, that improves my my morning so far. I did not like hitting. It must have been a log. I mean, we've we've had a lot of rain. Boy, it's just sometimes it's just floating just under the surface and you can't see it. Ah, it's, boy, dangerous. You can see we're coming up on this point here. Those are stripers. Some bait up there. A couple other fish might be spots. That's kind of what I look for. Another fish on the bottom. or two and I'm going to work my way back across the point because I missed one right back that way. I know they're here. I don't think there's a whole bunch of them. So my philosophy is always fish the points. I, I just start off on a point, you know, and just keep hitting points until I find fish. Usually doesn't take long. You know, there's there's no substitute for time on the water. The more you fish, the more you're gonna know where to fish and know what to fish. So what happens is the fish <clears throat> will chase bait back and forth across the point. So I'm gonna, you know, I'll just keep going back and forth every once in a while. The fish not like they just sit there. But kind of acting like they've moved on. And so I'll just go try to find them somewhere else. Well, I saw these fish a little deeper out here on my fish finder. Knew there would still be one or two. So I'm out on the same point, but I'm out in about, oh, I don't know, 15 or 20 feet of water where I hooked him. It's another, another decent fish, too. Just love it. Man, look look at the belly on this fish. Alright. Another, look at the belly on that fish. Beautiful. I just love it. <laughs> so I think I've learned something here. Out here deeper. I'm pretty surprised. Uh, this mud, this water is really muddy.
another thing you could do is come out with a jig head and a like a three inch twister tail grub and catch them it's the, it'll it'll do the same thing a lot of people ask me to sell my jigs i just don't have time to make them it's not so much about the lure although all lures are not created equal it's about where you put it and what you do with it I should do a video where I use a... Oh, there he is! <laughs> My lure didn't even hit the hit the bottom. It's a striper, too. <laughs> I love it. Ooh. He's off the surface here. This is a little guy, but... I'll take it. I won't, will not complain at all. These little three and four pounders are a blast. Look, it's a little fat little guy. All right, thanks for tuning in. Not bad for a couple hours of fishing. Um, kind of ran out of time. Uh, but that'll just show you how versatile a uh, bucktail jig is. Man, just deadly. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and make sure you come back and watch the next episode.